Hey guys, it's Melanie. Welcome back. Hope you're having a fantastic day. All right, I'm gonna have two candle reviews for you guys today because I have been diligently burning a lot of the new Kringle candles that I recently shared with you guys. I know a lot of you are anxious for some post burn reviews, so I have been diligently <laughs> burning these candles, kind of dividing my day up into like three different sections where I have been um, lighting two candles in the downstairs, kind of spreading them out across the house, <laughs> letting them come to a full solid wax pool for a few hours, then blowing them out, opening the windows, kind of clearing the house out a little bit, and then tackling another round of new <laughs> spring summer candles. So hopefully within the next couple of weeks here, you guys are going to see quite a few in-depth reviews of a lot of these new fragrances that Kringle recently released. Um, so today I'm going to give you a review of obviously the Juicy Strawberry here, which is from the most recent Reserve launch. And then the next video that you'll see a little bit later on today will be from the new spring and summer collection for the two wick tumblers. So um, yeah, lots and lots of in-depth reviews coming up. I hope you guys are excited. So let's go ahead and kick it off with Juicy Strawberry. All right, you guys, I am not officially to the halfway point on this one here, but I am definitely at least a third of the way through the candle. And um, this was one of the ones that I was actually like the most nervous about. So I thought I would go ahead and share my thoughts on this one first. I will say, as of right now, this scent is definitely sold out. Um, however, Mick is, he, <laughs> he wants to re-release these again. So right now they are waiting for the company that they use to like custom paint their, their tumbler jars. They're waiting for that company to complete another round of, um, the containers here and as soon as those get back to Kringle they can pour more of these fragrances that sold out in this most re uh, recent reserve launch. Honestly I think they probably sold out of the candles way faster than they originally anticipated. I'm not entirely surprised because there were a lot of gourmand fragrances this time around and I know there's a lot of people like me who really love these types of scents and um, so Kringle is aware that these were super popular so they are going to bring them back. I don't have a date for you guys but as soon as I find out I will definitely let you know. You can hop on the website. I will go ahead and link it down below. And you can actually sign up, go ahead and pop your email um, onto this specific candle here so you can find it on the website. Um, you can sign up with your email and they will actually notify you when the candles are ready to go. But I will also let you guys know here on my community tab on YouTube. So um, yeah, either way, Hopefully we will get the information to you one way or another when they're re-released. So if there was one that you missed out on, no need to have FOMO, there will be some more coming. Uh, so my fingers are kind of crossed that a few of these scents stick around long term. Um, honestly, I think this is the best reserve launch that they've had. It's it's mostly because a lot of these were gourmands and that's what I naturally gravitate towards. But I also think that these are, they're just beautiful scents. Like, <laughs> I'm just a huge fan of pretty much everything that I picked up. Um, I haven't burned all of them yet, but like I said, I'm, I'm getting around to it. But everything I've burned so far has been absolutely fantastic. So anyway, 
Let's go ahead and get into their scent description here. I will take you guys through the scent notes. I'll tell you what I have been picking up. Um, I'll tell you how this is burning in my house in the different locations where I've had it. We'll talk about strength and throw and all of that fun stuff. And then we'll wrap her up. Okay, uh, so Juicy Strawberry. Juicy Garden Strawberry is picked right off the vine, harmonized with some more garden green elements, such as parsley and basil. This is where it was throwing me off. <laughs> and enveloped at the bottom with oak moss and earthy geranium notes. The top notes here are lemon leaf, tomato vine, and parsley. Your mid notes are juicy strawberries, sheer basil, and violet leaf. The base is oak moss, geranium, and musk. All right, so the parsley and the basil, you guys. <laughs> Gotta admit that personally, I'm not a huge fan of herbal scents. I, I feel like the older I get, the more I can appreciate different types of fragrances. So I won't say that I like hate herbal scents, but they're, they're also not what I just kind of naturally gravitate towards. So I really thought that the parsley and the basil in here would throw this fragrance off for me, but I was, Definitely still curious enough about it to pick it up and I'm really glad that I did you guys because this is not at all How I expected this fragrance to smell Would I I will say this would I have preferred just a fresh juicy pure like ripe Oregon strawberry scent yes I would have loved that. I love a authentic, sweet, like middle of summer strawberry type scent. I have some of that in here, but that isn't, that isn't all that this candle is. So um, maybe in the future we can get a more pure strawberry, but I am actually quite pleased with this overall. So in terms of what I pick up, burning versus what I smelled cold sniff. This is one of those unique scents where I feel like this smells exactly on cold sniff, um, how it smells when it's burning. Um, it is really bright and fresh. It has those herbal notes, but it also has a really nice, juicy, authentic strawberry note. I do pick up the parsley. I do get just a touch of like a fresh basil as well. And I even smell that tomato vine. And all three of those are coming across as like the, like the herbs that they are, but also just really bright and green, I guess you could say. Um, and the strawberry again is, it really does smell like a fresh, juicy, sweet strawberry, but that sweetness is definitely cut with those green notes in here for sure. One thing that I don't really pick up is oak moss in any kind of way. I don't really get much in the way of muskiness from this one either. I think that musk is just kind of a supporting note for some of these other fragrance notes that are in here, but I do pick up that touch of geranium. It's light, but there is that kind of nice touch of that like slightly pungent geranium note. Um, it's pleasant. I feel like it makes sense in the fragrance overall, um, but I really like this one, you guys. And I, like I said, I did not expect to, and it turns out it's actually a, quite a lovely scent. Is it something that I think for me is hoard worthy? I don't think so. I don't think it's hoard worthy, but you know what? I probably actually would purchase another one if this one stayed in stock. Like I could see finishing it, maybe taking a break from it for like a month or two, um, and then picking it up again and just going right back to enjoying it but it's not one where for me, I would be like, oh my gosh, I feel like I wanna order like 15 of these. Um, I definitely feel that way about a couple of these other scents from the reserve drop, 
but this one I think is just super pleasant. It's unique, it's different for me. And I'm really glad that I decided to take a chance on it because it could have been an easy one for me to write off for sure. One thing that I think is a little bit of a bummer with the reserve line is that you can't order like a daylight, for example, or a um, like a wax melt. I know a lot of you are definitely interested in um, in Kringle expanding this reserve line to offer things like wax melts. And I'm thinking if it continues to do well, that there is definitely a reason for Kringle to go ahead and expand the range. But I think they kind of are just using these first few releases to judge and see how people are feeling about these scents. So um, keep buying them. <laughs> And then hopefully we will get some wax melts. But yeah, there is no way to try these fragrances uh, first without, you know, just placing an order blind. And they are also only available in the large jars. So they are quite limited. Um, so there's that. Okay, so let's talk about strength and throw. So these are supposed to be using a more premium type of fragrance oil. That is why these are a little bit more expensive. The fragrance oils that they are sourcing for these collections are just a higher end formulation. Um, and I will say, I think for me, I feel like I don't see a difference like in the quality of the fragrance oils in terms of, do I think these smell more authentic than the other candles? Um, I feel like all of the Kringle candles smell really good. Like I've never really picked anything up that I thought like, oh, like what is this oil? Like this is disgusting or, you know, like this isn't like this isn't a great scent or whatever. I, scent is subjective because obviously there are things that some people are going to like that other people are not. But in terms of like the quality of the oils, I guess, I feel like these are kind of on par with what they normally use. So um, that being said, I will say that I think these have a little bit more oomph behind them than the regular two wick tumblers, not by a drastic amount, at least not in my house in terms of performance. I would put the strength of this one at like a good solid seven and I would put the throw at probably between a six and a seven. Um, it travels a decent amount, um, so it's a good solid medium performance for me, for sure. Um, I do wish it was a little bit stronger, and this is why I'm so excited for Kringle to come out with the bigger vessels. I really, I would, I would love bigger vessels with more wicks so I can get a bigger wax pool and an increase in strength and throw. Now, that might not necessarily be a good thing for a lot of other people. I think it really depends on your home. We have a, our home is about 20 years old and it is rather open concept. It's that typical like early 2000s layout where like everything just kind of leads into the other room. So um, with high ceilings, sometimes fragrances can get lost. Sometimes they don't smell as intense in my house as they would in yours. So definitely consider your space. Also think about the airflow in the different rooms where you're using your candles. If you're really not smelling something, try moving it to another area and seeing if that changes the result for you. Um, I definitely have dead areas in my house, so do consider that if you're struggling with a certain scent. And sure, sometimes things are just lighter, you know, um, and, and that's fine too. I do think that there is a place for candles that are not like, you know, smack you in the face strength. Like there's a lot of people that are prone to headaches, uh, prone to migraines. I am actually... I am actually a migraine sufferer. I'm lucky in that right now I'm not having a super active like outbreak with that, but I can certainly deal with times where I am a lot more sensitive to fragrance. And when I have a migraine, there are no candles lit in my house. Like I don't want to smell anything when I'm feeling that. So um, yeah, I think there's there's definitely a place for the lighter candles, but my personal preference is just to have a little bit more oomph 
and when I don't want any fragrance, I just don't light any candles. But this has been, this is a solid performer. I really, I really enjoy the scent. Um, again, is it hoard worthy? No, but it's performing beautifully. I will give you guys an overhead shot. Um, the one thing that I know a lot of people don't love about the black jars is it is quite hard to see the flame. So I'm going to go ahead and turn this around here. So you can see, like you really, you almost can't even tell that this candle is lit. Um, and I have to be careful with these reserve candles because there have been a couple of nights where I have gone upstairs to bed and I'm laying in bed and I can like smell that something's still happening downstairs and I will come down and it is always these reserve candles that I forget to blow out because I just, I don't see the flame through the glass. So there's obviously an illumination, you know, from the top, but as you go down further in the candle here, by the way, I am right here at this level right now. Um, as you go down, it's even going to be harder to see that flame. So definitely worth keeping in mind. Um, don't forget your candle rounds every evening. So let me show you guys an overhead view. She has been burning like a champ in terms of there's no discoloration in that wax. The wicks are fabulous as always. And um, it's performing beautifully. I lit this candle right before I started filming. So you can kind of see how fast these pull out. Um, it, it's yeah, great performance. I really, I love this wax from Kringle, you guys. Like I keep saying that it's like a set it and forget it type of wax. That's really, that's really what I enjoy here is I don't have to babysit these candles at all. And with a lot of my candles, I have a strict like three hour burn limit. I don't have to be as strict with the soy formula here because it just doesn't ever really discol discolor. Um, and, it and it never gets messy. Like no matter how long I have it going, it never gets messy. That being said, I think a reasonable like maximum burn time here that I would recommend is probably somewhere around like five hours, five, six hours, but I wouldn't go too far beyond that. But overall, two thumbs up for this one. I really like it a lot. And I hope that those of you that missed out on this one are able to get it when it comes back in stock because I think you would really, really enjoy it. Um, obviously, if those herbal notes really throw you off, it might not be a good choice, but if you're willing to take a chance on it, I think you might actually enjoy it. If you picked up Juicy Strawberry, will you please let us know your thoughts in the comments down below? I will go ahead and put a link to Kringle Candle in the description box. Go ahead and sign up with your email and make sure that you get those notifications. And also keep an eye out on my community tab here. I will update you guys as soon as I hear anything from Kringle in terms of a re-release. So I appreciate you being here. Please subscribe if you are new. Give this video a big fat thumbs up and I will see you in the next one. Take care. Tindle.